Want to create a dynamic, non-linear presentation inside PowerPoint? You can with PowerPoint's Zoom feature. This tool allows you to jump seamlessly from one point in your presentation to the next by creating links between different parts of your presentation. Let me walk you through the three types of PowerPoint Zoom that you can implement in your presentation. We have Slide Zoom, Section Zoom, and Summary Zoom. First up, we have our slide zoom. This creates a link between our slides to zoom into a specific slide in your presentation. So here I have a slide deck on the iceberg model. And in a normal presentation, I would go through the slide deck as normal with our first slide here and then just jumping between all the other slides. However, we can make this a little bit more engaging with our slide zoom. So to make that happen, click on your first slide here, and then in our insert tab, we can click on the zoom feature and then our slide zoom. From there, just go ahead and select the four slides that you want to zoom into. We can click insert and you'll see all those slides appear on your screen. You can go ahead and rearrange these as needed to where you prefer them to be on your slide. And let's go into our presentation mode so you guys can check that out. So you see the four slides here, a nice little preview. We can click on one of them to zoom into that slide. And as you are clicking through, it will move from one slide to the next with that nice zoom transition. There are a couple of options that we can adjust and let's first start with removing that slide outline on this deck. That way this slide looks a little bit cleaner. So to do that, just click on the slide that you zoomed into and now we have this zoom tab up in the PowerPoint ribbon. From there, we can go ahead and click the zoom background and that will remove the outline as well as hide that background for us on that slide. And the second option that I want to cover is if you guys don't want to jump between the four slides as you normally would and how we just previewed and instead click on the number one, the event, and then go back out to the iceberg model before going into number two, we can do that with this return to zoom option. So I'm going to set it just for this first one and I'll leave the others that way we can take a look at the difference here. So now we're on our full screen iceberg model slide. And when we click on number one, we'll go into that slide. And then now instead of sliding into our number two, we can see we're back out to the full screen of our iceberg model. This is really great if you guys wanna jump between the four in a non-linear way. That way you can kind of pick and choose how you move through your presentation. I'll show you another example of this and some other options that you can do with PowerPoint Zoom feature with our section Zoom. Now, our section zoom allows us to jump and zoom into a whole section in our PowerPoint presentation. So here I have a deck on the solar system and the sun and each one of the planets has its own section with a couple of slides about it in each one. To add a section, just go ahead, right click, select add a section and give it a name. You guys can add your slides or click and drag any slides into the sections. And once all of your slides have, are within a section, we can talk about our goal for this presentation. So what I want to do here is be, have this presentation be a little bit more flexible. That way I can go ahead and click on the sun or any one of these planets and it will directly take me to that section about that planet. This way I don't have to go through the rigid flow of our presentation at it, as it is set up here on the left. So to make that happen, we're again going to go into our insert tab, select zoom and section zoom here. So you'll see a preview from the first slide of each section and we can go ahead and add all of the sections that we want to zoom to. We'll insert them onto our slide and again you can also drag a whole section onto your slide to have it be zoomed in in that way instead. So let's go ahead and move these around on our slide to where we want them to be. And as you guys can see, these ones are a little bit messier and a little bit overwhelming compared to our iceberg model. So we're gonna go ahead and change up these images. So to do that, click on the one that you want and we're gonna right click and select change image. So I have previously saved all of my planets and the sun as an image onto my desktop. So we can go ahead, select that, and that will insert that right onto our slide and replace the big picture that we had before. So if you guys wanna follow that same format, when you're on your slide, just click on the icon or the image or the picture that you want to replace it with, and you can click save as a picture, and that will save it as a file onto your device. So then we can go ahead and continue replacing all of these images. In addition to right clicking and seeing that pop up menu, you can also click on the zoom tab up here and click change image from this side as well.
Excellent. Once all of your images are replaced in the same way we did our slide zoom, let's remove that outline from each one. However, this time we don't want to hide that background. So instead of selecting the zoom background here, we're going to go into our zoom border and make it no outline. So we can go ahead and make those changes for each one of our planets here. Excellent. And one thing that I do want to call out is what each one of these little icons are. So this is telling you that you're going to zoom into the sun, see slides two and then slides three, and then you'll zoom back out. So with our section zoom, our return to zoom is automatically checked, which is different from our slide zoom. So let's go ahead and check it out. So now we're on our main slide and we can go ahead and click on any one of our planets. It will jump to that slide and jump back out when the section is done. So with our Earth here, we have a couple of slides in this section. So we have our Earth, our details, we'll have our Moon slide, and then now we'll jump back out to the beginning. If you guys do want that to be changed, just go ahead and uncheck our return to zoom. In addition, some other zoom options that you guys might want to take a look at are our zoom effects or the duration of your zoom if you're finding it's a little bit too fast or too slow. And then lastly, very similar to our section zoom is our summary zoom. So we're going to use this same slide deck here and our summary zoom will just provide us a nice slide that will show us a quick summary of all the sections in our presentation. So if we're on this slide deck, we can go to insert, select zoom, and this time we'll go ahead and select summary zoom. And it will automatically select the first slides in our presentation of those sections. So we can just go ahead, select insert, and it will automatically create a brand new slide in our presentation. You guys can go ahead, click on the zoom tab here and also edit this summary. So if you missed a slide or want to include any other slide, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can go ahead and move slides away from each other. You can make this a little bit bigger and adjust as needed. And if you ever want to reset back to that nice formatted background, you can go ahead and click the reset button. So this is really similar to our section zoom. Like I said, just going ahead, zooming into that specific section. So you can also adjust, paste this onto another slide and move around as needed needed. Then you can use any of the zoom options that we've discussed already. And that is it. You guys are now a PowerPoint zoom master. You can use any of these zooms to create a more engaging and dynamic presentation. I love using them because it really catches people's eye in your presentations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment and let us know if there's any other PowerPoint tips and tricks you are interested in.